Welcome back to the House, the House of Hop Hopcast. House of Hop, baby. We're back. Weighing in at 195 pounds, sitting to my right, he is my notorious co-host. He is the key to professional wrestling. He is Jay the Key Evans. Yeah. And his tag team partner, weighing in at 198 pounds, oh. is not only the owner of the House of Hop, he is also in belt fed. I don't know where I was going with my intro. <laughs> oh, I know. Super long intros today. Mom. No, I, he. Wait, how did I want to say this? Keep it going. Keep it going. No, I totally screwed ah, it up. Boo. I wanted to pop you with it. I practiced it today at work. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was in the truck. I practiced it today at work. Damn it! And you couldn't pull it off. Yeah. All done. Um, yeah, I totally forgot where I was going with it. That's what you get for being eagle last. See you, see you. See you, don't want to be here. Hate to hear it. Hate, hate to hear it. Hate to see it. All those different things. Oh, ready? Ah, um, he is diamond. No, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, he is carrot. No, that's also what? not what I wanted to say. <laughs> I just stop, bro. Oh, yeah, for You're real. You're done. Yo, it was terrible. Your goose is cooked. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted. That's what You're I wanted. You're real eagle ass right now. Yo, Sheesh. bro, I, dude, we've had a little bit of a stumble here. I'm glad everybody's joined us. Thanks for coming back to the House of Hop. That's I am crazy. Carried Clarity Diamond Dew Hop. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> well, dude, you made fun of LLD, LL Cool D so I did, bad. I did. It didn't go over too That's well. what I was expecting. I was like, is he forgetting LL Cool D? Well, that, I wanted to skip the LL Cool D. I wanted to go. With a new direction, so I thought if I was that name stupid too. Carry clarity, <laughs> diamond do hop. Mm, I thought that that was uh, that 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 doesn't flow either. Nah, I'm not liking that one. <laughs> Boo, do hop, you suck. I'm not saying that. How, how come, come I can't be I, I, How come I can't be like a diamond and be like eat it, yeah, like Diamond Dallas Page? How come I can't be Diamond do hop? Leave it in the comments. Do you like Diamond do hop? Because you're copying your shit, Mark. Nobody said that. I was just trying to reinvent Doohop a little bit because LL Cool D didn't, yeah, you gotta uh, evolve, brother. didn't go over too well. I still exactly. think I'm LL Cool D. Don't even try it. Because I I am that cool. You but are pretty cool. I guess I'm not, not like I guess I'm not LL Cool D cool. I guess I'm not uh Carrot Clarity cool. No. Diamond Doohop cool. I I would, I would maybe try shortening it. It's a little too long. Go ahead, Jay. Tell uh, tell us what you would do. For for do hop or? yeah, yeah. Like I said, do hop. Well, to re it's like it's myself. like it's like what do you what do you what are you looking to do next? Has do hop? You know, that's how you got to think of it. That's how I like think well, of it. Well, I I've had quite a stumble here. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I, like, I'm not even in Belted anymore. I, I got kicked out because of Jungle Jim. I hate him. I, I I saw Grim post a tweet today actually live, saying that he's a monster. The live event. Okay. Hey, versus onslaught. R right. Onslaught answers the open challenge. I put one third of the, the uh, trio's titles on the line. Jungle Jim gets in the way, screws me deep. I eat that black hole slam. One, two, three. I'm out of belt fed. I don't have any belts anymore because I already got wow. screwed out of my YouTube title. So I'm coming back to belt fed. Don't worry about it. Right, I hope so. I mean, you know, boo, the Jungle boys, Jim. Right? I boo, Jungle Jim that I got th th that that happened. But cheer for Do Hop that I'm going to make my return to belt fed with a belt soon. I'll be cheering for you, buddy. If I have to take his Intercontinental Championship, I will. Oh, yo! Then that means he'll be kicked out of that, right? Well, that's not exactly true because right, he still, has the champ. The well, tag team he's got the case. The oh, he's the got case. the food in the fridge. He can cash in on any oh, champ. He can cash in he's on. He's got some uh, some leverage. There. Yeah, okay. I don't think he was cashing in on Tarzan. Was the problem? Sure, sure. Mm, all right, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about Halloween. All right, Halloween. Because Halloween was a lot of fun. Jay, what'd you do for Halloween? Um, what are you getting ready to do for Halloween? You know exactly what I'm getting ready to do for what, Halloween. Do what, what, what? Well, I mean, Halloween has passed. Stop. But stop. What's her name? Ah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing for Halloween? I don't know. What's her name? Oh, all right. So there's a, you've already done some and there's more to come, right? Yes. Ooh, yes. The yes, anticipation yes, yes. builds. Here we go, Jay. What did you do? <laughs> well, you know, Halloween weekend and, uh, the Jersey Shore is a pretty popping thing these I days. I saw you dressed as a fireman. Sexy. I was. I was. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, Friday we went to uh, Asbury and, uh, you know, 
waited in the line for three hours. Oh, I hate to hear it. Dude. Had to pee like a racehorse. I was holding I, I my never, piss in. Never wait in the line for three hours for a bar. Continue. Oh, was, but we, we we made the most of it in the line, you know, and having fun, laughing about it. It is what it is. And then, you know, partied. Well, drank. We, what do you got on deck, Jay? This is what on I really deck. Know. This is what we're diving deep in. What are you planning? My Jay? favorite time of the year, DJs is open for one special night, all for Halloween. What do you mean one special night? They're going to be open in a month again when it's uh, for, Thanksgiving it, Eve. It, I had to wait a whole nother month, oh, bro. Or like what? All right, what is it? Three weeks or whatever, bro. Bro. dude. DJs. I haven't been to DJ since Labor Day weekend because they've been closed. So like, <laughs> like it's a thing. Go ahead, like, I love busting Me, your me jobs. and the group are all going, and we're going to get annihilated. It's going to be a great night. How many grails? I'm ordering 50 right off the rip. <laughs> you, you think I'm joking. That's a lot Dead of Dead serious. All right, so listen. I'm glad that you got that all set up for Halloween. All right. I can't fucking wait. Unbelievable. You know I got to edit those curses I know. out. <laughs> you do it on purpose, you scumbag. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. He's our scumbag. All right, so... I don't know if you saw, but I had a lot of fun on Halloween. And I don't yeah, think I, I told you Halloween. much. I took I the saw dude. The snaps. I took the dude um, trick or treating, and I don't know if anybody saw the vlog. Okay, but that flashlight that I bought and made the pack out of his L- L- Luigi Mansion was probably the highlight of Halloween. I, I don't know the most fun Halloween I've had in years. Put it that way. Okay, okay because okay. he didn't have to ring the bell. It was house after house. As he was walking up, he was just shining the light in their windows. <laughs> and you know how bright that thing is. Yeah, right? that thing like, honestly, bright, the, vlog, ultra bright. the vlog doesn't even do it justice when you no, see how bright it dude. is in the vlog. Right? And he's lighting up their... They're like jumping off their couches. They're like, wait, what the hell's going on? Because the flashlight's lighting up their homes, their hallways, their kitchens. They're coming to the door and there's glass doors and he's got it lighting up the hallway the lady opens the door he's bamming it in her face everybody got a shot in the face i couldn't have laughed harder my, <laughs> my mother was mortified scumbag we had the best i had the best halloween <laughs> watching my son run around with this flashlight as luigi's mansion and i was laughing because i was like what are they gonna do yell at an eight-year-old fair point my sister would dress as dracula kept going with her up to the door to trick-or-treat my sister almost 40 still collecting candy i love her um she was telling me about the interactions with the people when she was blind, when he was blinding them, and I, I in tears, I couldn't breathe. I really right, let's he, hear it. Let's let's give an example. What do we got? The <laughs> one guy came to the door because <laughs> nobody rang the doorbell, right? He goes, I didn't see anything. All I saw was the light. He goes, It's Halloween. He goes, I kind of actually thought the cops were there. I kind of sneaking up like this. Now I don't know if he was kidding, but that's what he said. And he, but that's what she told me, and that's he, funny. she was laughing about it. I will tell you that, it, like I said, all night I had a smile on my face. Good, good. Now, That's what matters most. I had another smile on my face when I watched Halloween Havoc. After we went trick-or-treating, I came home and I just watched Halloween Havoc. Do you know why I want to talk about it? Because our boy Robert Stone is on there. Oh, wrong one. And there it is. Yep. Going one-on-one with Braun Breaker. Well, he didn't really go one-on-one with Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker really beat his ass. <laughs> I have yet to watch it. Oh, all right. Well, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it tonight, though. Well, I'm going to spoil it for you right now. Yeah, yeah, I, wanted to I, talk saw, about I saw it. on uh, Instagram. All right. He got like three offensive moves in, maybe. Well, okay. All um, right. Something. So I'm laughing because... All right. So why I wanted to talk about this is Robbie E is our boy. Robbie E worked with us on GTS for years. Robbie E was in my mother's backyard. Robbie E was in the first warehouse. Robbie E was in the second warehouse. It was no... Uh, Robbie E was, ab- was absolutely no stranger to G- G- GTS. So having known him, I got pictures of him shopping in the grocery store with his kids in the cart. I love Robbie Yeager. Yeah, dude. I, right? I, he used to bring the, his twins there. And Cash and Carter. So, yeah, so little. And now they're big. Yeah, yeah dude. It's crazy. Right. Well, just like, old. just like my kid getting yeah, wildly yeah, old. Yeah, seeing that. So Robbie E is our boy. We love Robbie E. Yes, so sir. he had his first match on television on NXT. He's been in NXT for a while, but he's just been a mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. Robert Stone, this, that, and the other thing. He's really done nothing physically in the ring so now he's lined up to take on former nxt champion huge bron breaker (laughs) if you guys know robbie like we know robbie and i'm not trying to sell robbie down the river because at this point i don't like to bump either 
Oh, I, yeah. I okay, mean, I don't like to physically get beat up at all. I'm smart with my bumps these right? days, but you know? <laughs> every time Robbie came to GTS, it was hysterical. <laughs> the amount of work he didn't want to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great for us because we learned a lot. Oh, dude! Like he—he he he just... taught us how to wrestle without wrestling. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. Love this man yeah. for it. Okay, so He's now such, he has like such a charisma and a personality to him. It's great. It's funny when you watch this match against Braun Breaker, and Braun's yeeting him across the ring, and he's taking these huge bumps. I'm going, wow! That is not the Robbie that I know. <laughs> Because Bro, Robbie, doing matches with him were so easy. I know, because Robbie didn't want to ever do anything like that. And like I said, here's Robbie now, <laughs> You're upside coming down. With something fucking hysterical. I know. Like something so silly. <laughs> yeah, it was great. He's, I loved working he, with him. He's eating <laughs> these bumps, and I'm like, oh my god, this poor... Like, I know Robbie personal level and he's eating these bumps. I'm like, Robbie, <laughs> Robbie hates this right now. He's, he's, he's like, this is terrible. <laughs> god bless him. But... um. A fantastic little debut to lose in wonderful fashion to Braun Breaker. Solid, solid. And, and, I gotta but, um, watch it. I'm excited to watch it. He took a couple bumps, really, just to set up that the other dude came back, Von Wagner. Cool, cool. I feel like the match was really just the setup for for Von Wagner being back. I don't know if we'll see more Robbie in the ring, especially after the way he got thrown around and beat up by Braun Breaker. You never know. But it was Halloween Havoc, and I wanted to talk about it. So, What were the other matches on there? I don't know. I don't care. Because <laughs> what I... I brought it up because not only did I want to talk about how fantastic it was to watch our friend on television, but I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite Robbie E. GTS memory? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I want to, all right, so what I will, uh, I will tell you mine first. Let's hear it. Okay, is when <laughs> it was the episode where he came up with, he goes, why don't we just do it where like I'm dead and it's weekend at Bernie's. So everything we did was me and Grim picking, and we he wrestled a match as a okay, dead body, yeah. and I was picking Robbie E up and throwing him like a rag doll, and, and Robbie's just like, woo! Like <laughs> if you watch Tar recently, if you have watched Tarzan wa wrestle that Deadpool like uh, uh, body thing on GTS, it's kind of like what we did to Robbie in a way, and he was ragdolled like weekend at bernie's has yeah. to be my my absolutely favorite memory was filming that match where he was completely acting dead <laughs> and we were wrestling and picking him up like a rag doll and and then he won it was yeah. fantastic absolutely yep. fantastic my, i think i was there for that my favorite robbie e moment and memory of of gts well, has to be that number one i, I don't steal mine what's Obviously. yours I think I would have to go with um, when when I was working him in that little rivalry. Okay. Like it got to the point where like I stole his dog. Oh, <laughs> it was just so funny. I do remember that. It was, it, was, it was so funny. It was cool to work with him. That was like I, I want to say he was my first like name that I ever worked. I think so it was, that was a, cool. I think it was always funny that when he um, when we were in our um, my grandmother's backyard and yeah. he would show up. Like I think my mom had a crush on him. Because she's like, oh, oh, hi, Robbie. And he's like, oh, hi, Grim's mom. Like, I feel like he felt like a little, I don't want to say awkward, but like, I think my mom put a little shine on her smile when Robbie showed up. And he's cute. Shooter, why not? Shooter's got to shoot. Right? I know, right? And he's cute. So screw it, Rob. Go for it. <laughs> Run me. Fun fact, over the summer, me and Robbie E were in DJs together at the same time and didn't, didn't get to see him, but like I saw, cause I, you know, I've been to every Sunday fun day Unbelievable. and on Facebook, he posted a little something. I was like, shit, man, I can miss him by like, I don't know. And he know. was there. Yeah. Yeah. Would have, been, would have been cool to pound a few girls with him. Obviously. But didn't next have, summer. Have the kids with him. No, sir. All right. Um, also, um, just before Halloween. All right, on Saturday, we had Collision. Did you watch MJF and Omega? No. <sighs> oh. Was it good? Hold on, wait. I saw, I saw MJF. <laughs> Dude, I how was dare out. You? I was how out, bro. I, I told you it was Halloween weekend. You think how? I'm going to watch Collision with only 379,000 viewers? Come on. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, and Shots fired <laughs> at Collision. Yo, <laughs> all right, so listen. I didn't watch it Saturday night, Okay. I had my own wrestling match where I was getting screwed by Jungle Jim. We already spoke about that. True, true. Okay. I watched it Sunday morning because I was far enough to DVR it, dum-dum. Oh, you're so cool. Yeah, I know. I'm awesome. 
No, for real. I watched it Sunday morning, but I watched it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to go back and watch that, too. I have it on DVR as well. Well, well then what do you mean? All right, so listen. No, I, just, I, I barely have time to watch wrestling. Well, there was well, a like, lot. I watch it, but, like. You there know, was a lot of back and forth about this match on the internet about uh, people were pissed that, like, all of a sudden on Wednesday we're finding out that on Saturday we get this amazing MJF Omega match. That It was pretty sudden, yeah. Oh, shotgun booking. Have you seen the ratings on Collision? That's why they did it. I mean, and, I mean, it made sense with the timing of the bell yeah. and how long MJF had it. The ratings at Collision have been <laughs> garbage. So might as well have Kenny Omega versus your champion MJF on collision for free. I mean, it made all the sense in the world, did. but people were pissed because there's, you know, uh, I guess no build up and no. Um, well, yeah, I, mean, I feel nothing. like a match of that caliber definitely needed some. Uh, no pay-per-view quality. Yeah. Like there was no, you yeah. know, and I'm sure, and I'm sure the they had a pay-per-view match. You know? oh, oh, it was solid. Top to I'm bottom. Sure it was, yeah. I'm, I'm really absolutely looking forward to watching that. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I had, MJF really hasn't done anything wrong yet, if you think about it. And it, Kenny Omega is always at the top of his game. Always. <clears throat> so them. you can't lose when they announce a match like that. But um, I enjoyed every second of it. And obviously, MJF won. And um, I don't know why people were complaining about it. Like, I, yeah, you kind of like, would that have been an amazing match for a pay-per-view and a build-up for mjf sure but you know based on that timing with the way kenny had the mat the belt and mjf had the belt i don't care that they did it like that it was wild yeah you know like again shotgun booking like yep. that but yeah, it was... it's, it's what you get with AEW. you don't get that at uh at wwe and it's that's why you when you watch wrestling you have to just enjoy both yeah you can't compare Oh, yeah, 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 no. Speaking of WWE. Yeah, I never, never compare. Crown Jewel. This Saturday. November 4th. November 4th. Are you going to watch it before you go to Disneyland? I am indeed watching it. Well, only I'm because, because it's, not, it's, on, it's not on a Saturday night. It's, uh, it's, it's live yep, from uh, Saudi 1, Arabia. 1 p.m., right? Yeah. And uh, it's, so it's going to be on 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So, like, you know, in New Jersey, it starts at 1 p.m. I'll be... Uh, I will be home from work, and I will be ready to watch... The crown jewel. I will be home from work too, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You are wild. <laughs> Again, if you didn't know, me and Jay work together now, oh, man. I, and um, he got off last Saturday, and he's pushing hard to get off again this Saturday. Yep, nope. need it, need it, need it. Need Unbelievable. It. Well, sir, I am going to work on Saturday, and when I get home, I will j enjoy the crown jewel. Okay, to which I am still afraid to inform everybody out there that L A night yeah is definitely gonna lose yeah come on now sorry to tell you that i am I, what i mean I'm it's really... gonna be a good match like we, i think we talked about it it's gonna have a nice finish a cool, oh, cool oh yeah finish, I, you know? the, the finish is gonna be the fantastic part here in the entertaining aspect we talked about it already which is why i don't want to focus deep on it i want to get excited about john cena and solo Sequoia. yeah dude so you got the greatest of all time John hasn't Cena. won in what he said over two years just about john cena yeah has he just said. been around to put people over didn't he just win the other night um in, oh yeah in the in the tag match on Fastlane, right yeah but but i think it was he, like a singles victory oh uh, well he needs it then give it to him i'd give but it then to him. also you're building solo sokoa up to be this you know the next i'm not to say the next guy yet but you know they're pushing him you know towards that well, I, I'm 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 invested either way. Yeah, absolutely. Like that's that's like the match that I like really like when they announced it. I was like, whoa! Like yeah. now I'm really really excited to watch it. I brought the iPad over so I can pull up the rest of the card so we can do predictions. Okay, yeah, yeah you yeah. know what I'm saying. That's I cool. figured I oh I figured we'd uh, we'd we'd close out the podcast talking about the uh, the crown jewel and, and whatnot. But here we are talking about it, and I've still yet to pull it up. <laughs> So um, I want to say the other matches on there are what Seth Rollins versus uh, Drew McIntyre, right? Drew. And, oh, before we talk about that, Drew McIntyre has less than four months on his WWE contract. No talks yet of resigning. Where are the negotiations? WWE do not let Drew McIntyre be a free agent. You oh, never know. I thought I loaded the internet, you stupid schmuck. Whoa. Yo, this is PG. 
Oh, the five way women's match. What do we got? Um, Zoe Starks, Nia Jax, Rhea Ripley. No, wait, um, I got the card here now. Perfect. Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Um, I, I I'm Seth gonna say, is going to win I'm that. Gonna say Seth Rollins. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But well, with, I'm telling you right um, now, if they're looking to resign Drew, they'd put the belt on him. Or um, yeah, I, right. I see Judgment Day interference in here. Um, Rhea Ripley, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Raquel Rodriguez, and Zoe Stark. Yep. For the um, for Rhea's belt as a women's champion. I'm gonna say Rhea retains. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's no reason to give that belt to any of these other schmucks. <laughs> I'm not saying they're not good, but they're not carrying the company like mommy. True. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prove me wrong on that one. Uh, not yet. Her reign's been pretty solid so far. Oh, Io Sky, Bianca Belair. Um, I say um, they're not Bianca this, Belair. They're not giving this belt back to Bianca. They're going to have to what's her name interfere again. Bailey, somebody. The belt stays on Io. No, nah, I think uh, I think Bianca's going to win. Oh, yo, stop right now! How do we forget? Well, there's Cody Rhodes and Damian Priest. Oh yeah. All right. More importantly, how do we forget about this? Okay, here's your winner, and here's my prediction, and. No. Oh, bro! Oh my God! How did WWE United States yep. Champion Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Yep. Yep. Absolutely, I, I am, am so excited to see him win the wildly championship. Wildly entertained! I cannot wait him to see him and Rey Mysterio are going to put on a good good match. I, I know. See it already. Yes, I'm Dude, he's so just such a natural this. entertainer. He gets it. Dude. This is going to be wild. Tune in to see Logan Paul win his first WWE championship. He's going to be United States champion. Mark your word. Do hop. Yeah. Diamond do hop told you first. Stop. Hey, look at his you, face. You didn't, you didn't put those two C's in, uh, first. So, I mean, oh, the, Diamond do hop doesn't sound The, the, the uh, carrot clarity. Yeah. And, oh, totally forgot about Sami Zayn. Oh, that's the, nice. that's the pre-show. Yeah. And, uh, JD Which I was shocked about. I was like, what? Because that that sounds like a good match, you know. I thought Sami Zayn doesn't go to Saudi Arabia or something based on the whole religion thing. I I don't know. Yo, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, me Not either. insinuating yeah. anything, but I had heard that 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 was a thing. I don't know. Or, put well, it this way, there now. I if he's going in peace or peace, I like peace. That's what I like. So pretty excited about the WWE coming up this weekend. Uh, Crown Jewel. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a good good show. I haven't like I haven't really been excited for like the past few WWE pay per views. I mean like I have, but I haven't. But like this one, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a banger. I know. It's gonna be a good show all around. I I I, I mean I don't think there's a match on there. And, and I hate to say it because of the women's championship. I just don't think any of those other women are gonna beat Rhea Ripley. And yeah. that's the only reason that I wouldn't even be quote interested in watching. You know, like, all right, hold on. I definitely got to go take a whatever break, smoke break, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just, just because I, I full well believe that Rhea Ripley will keep that belt. There's no reason yeah, for her to lose yeah, it. Yeah, no, no shot. Everything else, in my opinion, is definitely um, questionable and or super fun. Yeah. I, I mean, we already, you know, oh, hey, no, yeah, I'm definitely going to lose. Yeah. But I'm so excited to see how he's going e to lose. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic loss. So, with that being said, everybody, thank you for tuning in uh, this week on the House of Hoppers, J. Yeah! Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments what you thought. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more to Hop and J at the House uh, of Hoppers. Yeah! Yeah! I still need outro music, Jack.